Viral Science, the home of creativity. Alexa. Hey friends, Turn welcome back. In the previous video, I've shown you how to make a home automation system which can be controlled with Amazon Alexa as well as push buttons. In this video, I will show you how to make a home automation system which can be controlled with Amazon Alexa as well as the switches which are normally used in our home switchboards. Alexa, turn light for on. Okay. Alexa, turn light 3 on. For this project you will need a ESP8266 Node MCU board, 4 channel relay module, 4 push buttons, a breadboard and some jumper wires. You will also need this ribbon wire and these switches. I have connected 4 switches all together. Now follow the circuit diagram and make your connections. To avoid these messy connections, I have designed my own PCB. So here it is. The quality of PCB is very good. So I would recommend you to buy these PCBs as I've used in multiple home automation projects. So to place your order, visit jlcpcb.com, sign in with, with your Google ID and click on code now. Over here we'll need Gilbert file. So I've designed my own circuit and converted it into a PCB file. From here, I've downloaded the Gilbert file of this PCB design. After downloading, I visited glcpcb.com and uploaded my Gilbert file. After uploading, you can select the quantity and the color of your PCB and place your orders. I have received these PCBs in 7 days, so we'll start assembling the components over it and start soldering it. After soldering, I will connect the Node MCU board over it. And after this, we'll connect this to our computer and start programming it. First, we'll visit syndic.com slash register and enter our name, password and email address and create our account. After this, we'll visit to their login page. Over here, enter the same email address which you have created the account and enter the password and click on login. Over here, on the dashboard, click on this add button and add your device. Give it a name, I am giving light1. Description will be also same, if you want you can add something else. And select the device type as a switch and click on save. Similarly, we will create 4 such devices. Make sure to give different names of all your different devices. So 4 devices are ready, now we'll open the code. Over here you will need to install the ESP8266 board, these libraries from the links provided in the code. Then below this you will find to enter the Syndric API key. For this visit the same dashboard and copy this API key. I have hide my API key due to security. So copy this and paste it over it, over this access. Now we'll enter our Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password. Now below this you will find the Syndric device ID. So for this visit the same dashboard and copy the device IDs of all four and paste it one by one. These are the relay pins, these are the switch pins and over here you will find the Wi-Fi LED pin. Now we will select the board, 
that is ESP8266 12E board. Then we'll select the port and we'll upload this code. Now download the Amazon Alexa app and open it. Sign in it with your Gmail account. Over here, we'll click on more button which is on the right side. After this, select on skills and games. And over here, click on the search button on the top and search for Synric. Now open the first one and click on enable to use. Over here, it will ask you to sync the account. So the account is synced successfully. Now we'll click on discover devices and make sure your ESP board is powered on at this time. It will find all the devices connected to your ESP board and add it to your Amazon Alexa app. I have soldered a male header pin to 5 ribbon wires. Now I am unscrewing the center pin of our switches and we'll connect it all together. And these all center pins will be our ground pins. So for that I am using this black wire from our ribbon cable. Now I will connect all the 4 switches with 4 individual wires. In my PCB design, I have provided this switches connection over here. You can see the ground 1, 2, 3 and 4th switch connection. So we'll connect our male header accordingly. The first pin is ground so we'll connect it accordingly. Now we'll connect this bulb holder to our PCB board. I have cut one of its wire and now we'll connect it to our relay board. Make sure you do it very carefully or you can take any expert's help while doing this. Now we'll open the app and click on devices. Over here you will find a switches tab on the top. Click on it and you will find all your devices over here. So you can control it from here as well. Alexa Turn light 3 on. Okay. Alexa, turn light So friends, I on. hope you like this video then do hit that like button and also share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.